question 61 to 63. So we hear about a really a beautiful plant that has a beautiful flower that makes an amazing, incredible drug that has saved millions of lives. And one day when you're a medical student and in the hospital, you will actually see patients' lives being saved with this drug in real time in emergency situations. It's really that amazing. Um, and of course, if you're already in healthcare, you know about this uh, already, digoxin or lenoxin. Uh, of course, the original name of the plant, digitalis. Okay, so when we look at the uh, graphs, they're all organized in the same way. Um, there are the first of the bar diagrams or histograms shows uh, patients that have side effects, so obviously they're not happy about that. And uh, then the total numbers in the middle, and then on the right-hand side, always, it's the patients who have been treated successfully. Okay. So we have the setup, and now for the first question, 61. So according to the data, dried leaf. So we're looking at the advantage of dried leaf over water extract. So answer choice A says the percentage of patients with side effects was about a third. Well, we can take a look at the percentage of, of patients with side effects uh, for leaf, and we see that it's five out of... 35. So 35 being the total amount, and 5 is the amount with uh, the side effects. So this over that. And so you can see that that's nowhere near a third. A third would have been 11 or 12 out of 35. So that's less than half of that. So a third is usually is really around 33%. So by percentage, this is probably less than 15%. So that's clearly not close to a third. But if you made the mistake of, of taking this value here and taking this value for the watery extract and putting one over the other, which doesn't make any sense because that's not comparing the rates of each. Okay, so this answer choice A is clearly incorrect. And answer choice B, uh, the percentage of patients treated successfully was greater. Frankly, on the exam, I would just eyeball this, and you can uh, look at the graphs, and uh, you can get a sense of the percentage of successful treatment over the total amount, and it looks, by eyeballing it and um, considering the proportions, that answer choice B is correct. However, uh, just to be clear, you know, if you had any doubt, then you would know that it's uh, 27 for the... Uh, um, patients who have been tr uh, treated successfully, 27 over the total amount, 35 for leaf. And uh, for the water extract, it would be 53 for successful treatment over 78 for the total amount. And then this is very easily compared, and I uh, wouldn't be surprised if that's why they chose these numbers, because you can just double this and you get 54 over 70, and you see that 54 is a little bit bigger than 53, so that suggests uh, this number is bigger. And then additionally, the denominator is smaller than the other denominator. So this confirms that this number has to be bigger to this number. So that's just comparing fractions. And uh, actually, that's in GAMSAT Math 1.4, uh, how to compare fractions. But anyway, so now we've confirmed that answer choice B is definitely correct. And answer choices C and D are just distractors. You know, they, it, it, they're not directly related. They present issues that we don't even have any evidence that that was the intention uh, when these w this was an already accepted drug even at his time, even during his period of time. And then the other thing is, uh, by what measure is would C or D be an advantage? It's not, it's not clear. And not to mention, we've clearly calculated a uh, difference in which there is an advantage uh, for leaf, and there's no doubt so that is clearly the best answer. So 61, the answer is B. 62, for the watery extract, so we're uh, looking at the watery extract. We've already established that the uh, number of successfully treated was 53 and that the total was 78. Uh, we've already established that. And uh, now we're told that the side effects only occurred for patients who were successfully treated. So if the side effects only occurred 
for patients who were successfully treated, therefore we can include the side effects in the camp or the group that were successfully treated because they have to be incorporated in this number now according to this question. So then the question is how many patients had neither successful treatment nor a side effect? Well truthfully now that we've already included side effects in this group of successful treatment the question didn't need to be stated had neither a successful treatment nor a side effect because that's already in incorporated the side effect issue. It could have just been asked how many patients did not have a successful treatment? Uh, that would have been sufficient because the side effect issue is included in the 53. So how many did not have a successful treatment? It would be the total number of patients minus the number that had successful treatment and that is the number that uh, did not have successful treatment. So that's question uh, 20, <laughs> question 62 and the answer is 25 and so that's answer choice B. And now for 63 for the alcoholic extract, suppose the greatest number of patients who were treated successfully had side effects. Okay, so uh, a little bit of verbal reasoning here. And before I give an interpretation of this, I'm going to remind you that in several instances, in each of the exams that we've discussed and gone over, uh, there have been questions sometimes later on in a unit or passage in, in which Acer will ask a question that harks back to something that occurred previously and can also actually be clarified by something that was done previously. So I'd like us to just reconsider question 62. Remember what we just finished doing. We just finished incorporating in successful treatment the patients who had side effects. We incorporated, in fact, every single patient in this, in 62, in question 62, every single patient uh, that had side effects was successfully treated because they're included in the group. All of them are included in this group that was successfully treated. So we learned from 62, it's possible to have all the patients that have side effects successfully treated. Now let's reread question 63 to see what it's trying to say. For alcoholic extract, suppose that the greatest number of patients who were treated successfully had side effects. That means that all that had side effects are treated successfully. That's what this means. So then when the question is asking, the number with side effects who were not treated successfully, but we've already established all with side effects are treated successfully. That's established in 62 and in the first oddly worded phrase that served as the question stem for 63. So for question 63, the answer is A, zero. And so you can uh, look at GAMSAT math for graph analysis 3.5 to 3.9 and biology chapter zero for dozens of practice questions on GAMSAT graph analysis for biology.